audio youtubers i decide to do a visual inspection on this inverter i remove the top cover and this is it and do a visual inspection because these wires i need to change they are too small i'd be putting some 12 gauge wires for it instead while doing the inspection <clears throat> i notice this wire here is resting on that coil if it's a choke or what it is i don't know and uh, i disconnect the fan i notice this has a kink right here it's a good thing when i tested the inverter the fans didn't come on it would have shot the inverter and uh, this fuse here the metal part is resting on the capacitor where is it yeah the metal part of the fuse is resting on the capacitor so if that fuse get hot it will melt the sleeve on the capacitor and it will shut out the inverter so i'd be trying to put a piece of plastic here and uh, if you notice how compact this is and partly all the fuses are on the capacitor but that's the only one the metal holder of the fuse is resting on the capacitor the others the the fuse itself is resting but not the metal the top of the fuse is resting and i saw something i needed to address yes uh, this here if you notice it doesn't have any solder on top of it the solder didn't pass through so i will be taking this apart to see how could i address this problem changing the wires i know i would have to take out that i think that's a capacitor a ceramic capacitor i believe i would have to take out that i rather take out that than taking out that coil or choke whatever it is i would take out that to get to these two wires the other thing is the wires are back to front if that is live here it's is where the neutral is because according to the outlet it marked live and neutral and that isn't corresponding because i go according to this this supposed to be live here but on the plug itself it marked neutral this side here where the neutral is connected mac live so i will be taking out that and then when i put everything together i will put power to it and test these outlets to see which one is live and neutral but i don't know if i'll be able to change that yet until i take out all these screws here 
and uh, these on the other side here and slide that whole thing out i'll be doing all these things off camera and as soon as i get them out i will come back I've got the case removed. This is the kink in the cable, which would have shot out once the fan come on. It would have shot out the inverter. So I, I'm going to splice it. This is what it looked like. And this is what the underside <clears throat> looks like. Now what I don't like about that is uh, look at that trace. It's a large trace but it's not thick enough to carry the current. So what I'm going to do is uh, use this and put it in the hole here run it here use another one there and run it here to distribute that electricity the other thing is this wire they don't have anything underneath it and it's resting on these units or these wells if anything get hot and that's not si silicone that's a hard hard top i don't know what wire is it if it get hot which means it could start melting so i'll be putting something underneath here to protect it or just try to raise it a bit I try to see if I could have seen what I gauge it is maybe 10 yeah 10 gauge So this is what I'm going to do. I'll put this wire here from this hole to there, from this hole to here, and just run a trace of solder on it so it would help distribute the current to the fuse. um i think that's about it i will take out that no i do not know i thought it would have marked on the underside live and neutral which i dismantled it and i didn't put power to it because i didn't want to discharge the cap capacitors so what i'm going to do i'll still use two red wires and when i cl do close it up i'll test it to see which one is live which one is neutral and i'll just put a sleeve over the red wire to identify live and neutral with all that said let me start preparing uh, some things for it. 
Yeah, this is the copper wire I put, or should I say a buster? So let me start dropping some solder onto it. I unsoldered the wire. Let me see if I get a connector for it.
Yeah. <clears throat> I've modified the border. I put a strip of copper wire right here. I put another piece up here and a piece here. I've also beef up the wires from this to 12 gauge and this here is to take that because it's so tight to fit inside there so I extend it and I'll be welding or soldering this on this wire here but I encounter another problem this is the fan that had the broken wire I've tested the fan it's 12 volts brushless I've tested it and it's not working neither this one nor the other fan is working so I'll have to get two fans to replace the two it has but for now I would put the bottom in finish this I have to take out that and turn it but before I connect the wire I have to find out which side is positive and negative and what I'm going to do the negative side I'll put a black sleeve on it since I had time to take out everything and I didn't test it I just decided to go all red and then I'll just put a sleeve over it and I would be putting one of these at the front so instead I go through here I'll go through that I'm doing all that and I'm not sure I put power to it it's working but I don't know if it would give the 3000 watts as they claim because it has a lot of problems a lot a lot of problems it's a good thing I'm a do it to yourself kind of guy so with all that said let me continue with mounting it up and then I'll show what I did I have completed the modification the only thing I need to do is connect that wire the reason I have <clears throat> two red wires I didn't test to see which end is live and neutral so I will be putting power to it to find out which side is live which side is neutral on the neutral end I'll put a sleeve a black sleeve to identify <clears throat> the side that's neutral I've changed these cables it didn't have a ground I put a ground I put the nut at the back a bolt and a nut at the back so I would be grounding it I also repaired the fans um, 
this is about it that wire is for a capacitor which down there was so tight and since I put bigger cables it cannot fit that's the size of the cables <clears throat> it had on it and I put 12 gauge I also put this on it so if I take in um, my power continuously I'll use that if it's just a little thing I would use that but I don't want to use that outlet continuously because I'm afraid it's going to melt it's just <clears throat> to use and stop and not to keep running all the time as I continue I'll keep you all updated I've completed the modification on this inverter everything is connected the only thing missing now is to test but I don't have batteries what I did I put a ground one of the fans were damaged the wire was cut it's a good thing when I tried it it didn't come on if it did it would have shut out the inverter I took out the cables it had which was too small and I put this there that's the ground and I also put that down here I change these they were upside down I changed them I have two red wires in here because that is not 220 straight it is 2110 that makes up the 220 because both sides of the wire is live I left the red cable but to the outlets I have the right color going for live and neutral but either side of these outlets alive that would make that's um 115 115 so you have 230 output here okay. this is it for this inverter i put the oof at the back connect from these two outlets and the one at the front run the cable along here drill a hole here and uh, place it at the back underneath the inverter which you all saw I beef up the solder trace with this but I haven't really tested it yet it's a 3000 watts which I doubt very much I will get 3000 watts from it 
this is it for now until the next one everything i use in the video i would have it a link in the description below if you order from my link i'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you goodbye until the next one